Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on what is going on. I hope that you're all having a really great start to the day thus far. So this video is going to cover quite a bit. We'll be looking at the Saharan dust forecast. Of course, some areas in the southeastern Caribbean are already being blanketed by all that mass of dry air and dust. So we're going to be looking at that and what is likely as we're going to be heading into the next few days. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look at the temperature anomaly map because if you're in some areas such as the northern caribbean you might notice that the evenings and the nights are a little bit cooler and windier than normal so we're going to be talking about that as well as the rainfall probability for the early part of next week then of course we have our neighboring territory south of us in south america facing an extreme rainfall event right now that is going to be persistent for a while so we're going to be talking about all of that in today's updates video and so before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update Okay, so let's get straight into it. We're turning to this infrared satellite of the North Atlantic and we can see that there is quite a bit of activity here and there. We see uh, some activity off the east coast of the U.S. out in the open Atlantic and also just off the coast of Africa. We see a lot of showers and thunderstorms within that area uh, that's kind of vacant in the Caribbean. We're not seeing all that color, but south of the region in south america there we have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place so let's go ahead and zoom in on the region as we can see here that it is just a lot especially in colombia at this time however for the entire northwestern uh, south america which includes colombia peru and ecuador all those areas are going to be at risk for the next several days at least throughout uh next weekend so it's going to be a long time of persistence and heavy rains because the environment is highly favorable for that to uh, be the case and so I hope that everyone there is doing okay in the midst of all of this rainfall that is taking place so let's go ahead and now talk about what's going on for the Caribbean and we can see here that as I said there isn't much happening across the region maybe just some areas of brief showers here or there but nothing too intense at this time we see some activity in the vicinity of the Windward Islands and Trinidad and Tobago as well. Uh, some cloud cover there, maybe a bit of rainfall with it. We see some activity uh, to the west of Jamaica, nothing much, and also over western Cuba and the southern portion of Hispaniola, but mainly over southern Haiti. A uh, bit of activity noted in parts of Central America, especially Costa Rica and parts of Panama, but as for everywhere else, there isn't anything major right now and most persons are waking up to some nice sunny skies. However, for some persons over in the Southeast Caribbean, it might not be very blue skies, but you might notice some dust haze. So let's go ahead and look at the Saharan earlier forecast. So as of what was expected for this morning, we can see here that quite a bit of uh, dust is extending into the Southeastern Caribbean, mainly for the Windward Islands, inclusive of Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, the ABC Islands, as well as parts of northern South America, such as Venezuela, Guyana, French Guiana, and Suriname. So those areas are likely being blanketed by some of that Saharan dust. As we're going to be headed into tomorrow, we can see here that the quantity is expected to increase as the dust enters the Caribbean even more. So we're, going to, so we're seeing here that it's persistent throughout tomorrow for parts of the southeastern Caribbean. We see a bit also extended for the rest of the Lesser Antilles and then as we're going to be heading into Monday this is what is forecasted uh, that dust is going to be making its way toward the Central Caribbean but the Northern Caribbean as of that point remains in the clear where there isn't going to be much dust in the area but of course as we head throughout the week uh, we could see an increase in quantity and look just behind it especially going to africa we can see some of those darker browns indicating uh more dense masses of a more dense mass of all of that dust and uh, it might help to induce more beautiful sunrises and sunsets but it can also have some health concerns especially with skin and eye irritation as well as uh nasal congestion so please be aware of that guys and try to stay indoors and as hydrated as you 
you can. So that is it for the Saharan area forecast. Now, in terms of the rainfall expected throughout the region, we're going to be looking at the total accumulated precipitation map here from the GFS to see what is expected. And then we're going to be looking at the euro to see if those two models are in close agreement with what is anticipated. So between now and Monday, this is the total accumulated precipitation. Of course, it is measured in inches. And over to the right side of your screen, there we have that key to help you to identify uh, how much rainfall each of those different shades represents. So you can see that for the Caribbean, just some spots of blues here and there. We see some of that uh, for Southern Haiti and in the Eastern Caribbean. But aside from that, we're seeing some uh, pale greens here and there and where we have those white areas is where uh, precipitation or rainfall is not really anticipated so uh, maybe at the most just near an inch of rainfall between now and then but uh, over in Central America uh, Costa Rica we can see a definite increase in rainfall some of those lilac shades even and then for South America uh, mainly for Colombia here and parts of Venezuela of course we've got that persistent rainfall event that I showed you guys earlier that's taking place there so inevitably uh, there is going to be a lot of rainfall expected within the area but for the general Caribbean region not much expected between now and then now is the euro in agreement with this we're looking at the map here and we can see somewhat of a similar story here not much rainfall at all expected in the Caribbean so that accumulation is likely for uh, from some brief showers that might move through an area here and there but uh, nothing intense as of right now but we're going to be seeing an increase in rainfall at least that is what is expected as you're going to be progressing into the next several weeks going to april uh latter april and then heading into the month of may so let's wait and see what's going to be happening at that time but i also mentioned earlier that we're going to be looking at the temperature anomaly map so let's go ahead and go on to that right now and here we have it so this is from the gfs and uh where we have those blues or those cooler shades that is indicating below normal temperature the white indicates that things are pretty much normal and the warmer colors those yellows oranges and red shades indicate warmer than normal temperature and so uh, we can see here that for today Saturday uh, we've got those blues across most of the Caribbean but of course there isn't too much rainfall or convective activity that is taking place so there is a lot of sunshine that we're receiving and we're a region that receives all, uh, most of those direct rays of the sun so those cooler temperatures are not most likely going to be felt throughout the daytime hours however as we head to the nocturnal Eternal hours uh, that is going to be the time when that is most noticeable uh, I'm sure that some of you guys might have felt that uh, last night and it is as a result of a front that is dissipating usually uh, behind the frontal boundary is that massive cool air in the front dipped in the Caribbean and so as a result we have all of this remaining cool air that is going to slowly dissipate so as we head to tomorrow we see that this quantity is decreasing uh, in terms of those cooler than normal temperatures and then eventually on Monday we see that uh, there is going to be little to no cooler than normal temperatures in the Caribbean. However, heading to the middle of next week, there is going to be another front making its way out of the U.S. There we have some of those darker shades of blue and even some of those purples indicating those below normal temperatures. And as we head to Thursday, we can see here that this would definitely be a significant temperature dip for parts of Cuba, uh, Hispaniola, the Bahamas, possibly even sections of Jamaica, but mainly those areas. Uh, according to what the GFS is expecting but it is important to note that things can change between now and then and then head into Friday almost a week from now we can see here that the GFS is expecting that this is going to be uh, spreading out here where we're going to have more areas in the Caribbean feeling those cooler than normal temperatures so that is what is on the horizon of course there can be changes with forecasts because they do not have to be completely accurate it's just a possibility of what could happen uh, 
uh, based on what is expected guys and so that is really it for this update video and I hope that you guys found it to be quite informative and I will be doing my countdown video to the hurricane season tomorrow so stick around for that and that's it for now so you can share your thoughts down in the comments or if you have any questions you can leave them there and I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and of course remember to always be weatherwise.